what's up youtube today here in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to use the retouching academy focus separation to retouch your image so let's get started so the first i'm going to do i'm just going to duplicate my layer first and um just open my retouching academy right here and uh, the one i use is focus separation via gaussian blur you can use media blur it's still the same thing but i prefer using the focus separation via gaussian blur when i'm using this retouching academy so the first thing i'm going to do run your focus separation action so just click on it and it's going to show you to put a blur radius so i'm going to be using a blur radius of 21 for this image right here and um, click on ok so after running the action it's going to create this folder right here which is focus separation via gaussian blur and inside this folder right here we have the high frequency texture copy we have the high frequency texture and we have the corrective tune we have the low frequency colors and tunes so this high frequency texture layer right here and this high frequency texture copy they are the same thing and they contain the textures on the image so all the textures on this image are inside this high frequency layer right here why all the colors on the image are inside this low frequency right here so if i just turn off my high frequency you can see we have only the colors right here why if i turn off my low frequency we can see we have the textures the textures are clearly visible the high frequency right here consists of all the texture while the low frequency consists of all the colors so if i want to remove blemishes for this image i'll make sure my high frequency texture copy is selected which is this first one right here that is if you're using this retouching academy frequency separation so once it's selected i'll just pick my close stamp tool and make sure my mode is on normal opacity is set to 100 my flow is set to 100 align is check and current layer is checked and my sample is on current layer and i just hold alternate to sample from a close by area and just paint over the blemishes like that hold alternate to sample and paint 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 over the blemishes like that so if you want to work on the blemishes with the retouching academy focus separation make sure you are working on this first layer right here which is the high frequency texture copy layer right here okay so this is before and this is the after so we have successfully removed some blemishes for the skin so if you want to remove blemishes make sure you are working on the high texture copy with this frequency separation layer so after that i'm going to explain this low frequency and this corrective tone right here so if you want to work on the colors so once you have your corrective tone come to your toolbar pick your mixer brush once you pick your mixer brush make sure you are your soft tongue brush and uh, make sure you're using the clean brush make sure this part right here is checked if this other one is checked i'll check it if this other one is checked and i just paint you can see it's not making the image look good it's making the image look bad so i'm just going to undo that okay so make sure this one right here is checked and make sure you are your clean brush like that and this one is checked uncheck this one and check this one and make sure you are your clean brush like that and i'm using custom and my weight is on 10 my load is on 30 my mix is on 20 my flow is on 30 this place right here is set to 10 and sample all layer is checked and the reason why sample all layer is checked is because i'm i'm working on this um corrective tune right here and everything i paint right here is going to sample from everything that is below my corrective tone which is my low frequency textures and tones which consists of the colors so that's why sample earlier is checked if i uncheck this and i just paint nothing is going to happen for to the image so if i just paint nothing is going to happen to the image so you can see i'm painting but nothing is happening to the image so if i just show you the before and after you can see nothing happened to the image and it's because sample or layer is not checked so once i click on my sample or layer and uh turn off my high texture layer and i have only my colors and i just paint you can see it's making the image look smooth and um, it's working because my sample all layer is checked so let me quickly show you the before and after what we just did so this is the before and this is the after this is the before and this is the after so you can see it is working so let me just delete it and create a new one so to use a mixer brush 
all you have to do is make sure your high texture is turned off which is the second one right here make sure it's turned off so if it's turned off this first one will automatically turn off as well so just turn your high frequency texture layer off pick your mixer brush tool use the settings i mentioned before and just paint on your highlights separately which is you are brushing on your highlights separately and also you are brushing on your shadows separately that's how you make your image look good don't just paint anyhow make sure you are painting your highlights separately and you are painting your shadow separately and just paint on the transition as well and remember to increase and decrease your brush size according to the parts you are working on like that so if i want to work on this place right here i'm just going to decrease my brush size to work on this place separately and if i want to work on this place i'm just going to increase my brush size like that and remember to brush according to the shape of your model skin or according to the shape of the face of your model which you are working on this is very important do not brush your highlights into your shadows or brush your shadows into your highlights it's just going to make your image look flat and your image is not going to look good so make sure you take note of that so let me quickly show you the before and after of what we just did so guys this is the before and this is the after our uh, before and after our uh, before and after so guys this is how you use the retouching academy focus separation via Gaussian blood to retouch your image so guys if you like this video if you learn it for this video comment retouching academy in the comment section and also give this video a like so more people can see this video and learn from this video as well if you want to learn how to retouch high-end beauty shots like this from start to finish make sure to click on the video showing your screen right now I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay creative.